my dad started a bit, a bit before my time, so I don't know the exact details, but he uh, started at Giant Cars, and I think it, it, I think it must have been about 1925-ish. He started as an apprentice, obviously, uh, and worked his way up from an apprentice to uh, the foreman of what was known as the, uh, the tin shed, and it was the repair shop, the second on Jowett. Well, Jowett's Jowett Cars Line in Bradford was a small family firm which started on Manningham Lane in Bradford at Grosvenor Garage by his two brothers, William and Ben Jowett, uh, who were engineers. And they designed the engine and the body and eventually produced the cars. My dad's two partners worked with him at Jowett's and they got together at the end of the war when people were being demobbed. They thought they could see an opportunity in starting on their own and bought some premises on Sticker Lane for £2,000. And Willie Jowett often to lend them this £2,000. And over a period of time, they would pay him back. Uh, the nearest school to where I lived was Swain House School in Bradford. Although it were a good school, I wasn't a very good pupil. <laughs> I, took, I took to maths quite well and drawing. My weak point was spelling, and that still is today my weak point. I'm still no better at spelling. I naturally failed my certificate to go to a next school, which was an intermediate school. I started to go to a lower school, which is called Hutton School, at Eccleton, Bradford. It was quite a good school. It, it, they were all similarly my, my, my quality, my, my brand, uh, as thick as me, actually. <laughs> Although my dad had worked in the guy's business from leaving the school, he, he wasn't really recommending me into the guy's business. He said, I'd like to get something a bit cleaner, something where you can wear a suit and be a, a, a better than being a motor mechanic, which was a dirty job. He says, I've got a very good friend who works at English Electric in Bradford in the architects department or design department. And so I've spoken to him uh, and he said he'd take you on as an apprentice. He said, and I think that'd be best to, when you leave home to go straight to English Electric and kick off there as a junior uh, architect. I was at school and I was 15 years old and I came home on lunchtime and I could see something was wrong because the curtains in our front room were pulled on. Which is unusual there. So when I got down, yeah, there were a lot of people there, and the aunties and uncles and one or two more friends told me, I said, You've got a shock now. I said, What's that? She said, Your dad's Oh, I couldn't believe it. You know, because you're only 49 and he never complained of an illness. My mother didn't want to pursue the architect's job. She could only think of, you've got to go where your dad will, you know, and, and get into the motor business. Because uh, they called it Toil of Motors and she was quite proud of it, you know. And um, so I went there as an apprentice and uh, got cracking. Not with the spanners, but with the brush to start with and washing up, making tea for the rest of the mechanics going for the newspapers, fetching the fish and chips at dinner time. I was just a dog's body for everybody. But that was that, the way it was. The youngest did all those sort of jobs. But I was, I've got to say it myself, I was really good as an apprentice motor mechanic. And before very long, there were many jobs that I really couldn't do. So then I went in the army to do my national service when I was 18. And you didn't need to be a good speller in the army, so I did well in that as well. I was ready for demob from the army. And uh, I was in bed in my bunk one night in my workshop at Catrick. I thought, what am I going to do? 
the army wants me to stop, stay on with them and they promised me a commission and I know my mum wouldn't like that and they had to come out and they had an interview with me and said anywhere we can talk you in to staying in the army I said I don't think so because I've, I've, I made a promise with my mother that I'd come out and, and go to the family business came out Friday flew Monday into Tordoff Motors with me uh, few new tools which I didn't need quite straight away on a new brush. 